Hello everyone, welcome to English with Sharmishtha. My name is Sharmishtha. Today's video is going to be very important as well as interesting for you if you ever want to speak in English in your life. In today's video, I am going to talk about 11 very important phrases that you must use in your English writing and speaking to make them look richer and more natural. Friends, listen to these very carefully because I know these are going to be very very useful. Number one is heads up which means giving a warning of an approaching danger. Supposing I am preparing for a surprise party for my mother and I tell my sister to watch out for my mother. If she comes, give me a heads up. Second phrase is you know the drill. You know the drill means you know what to do. It's a familiar thing to do. Supposing, for example, I am telling you, I have a channel called English with Sharmishtha. I tell you that if you like my video, like it and share it and subscribe it if you haven't already. The next day, I post another video and tell you that if you like my video, you know the drill. That means you know what to do. You know that you have to like it and share it. Third in the list is big time. Big time means very much. Supposing I tell you I miss you big time. That means I miss you very much. So this is a way of saying big time is a way of saying very much. The fourth phrase that I am going to discuss is save it for a rainy day. Saving it for a rainy day means saving a thing for some difficult time in future. So supposing I say I have an account and it has some money, I am saving it for a rainy day. That means I am saving it for some bad time, I am not going to spend it now. Next phrase is to have enough on the plate. That means to have a lot of work or lot of responsibility or lot of things to do for now. So for example, if I say that I cannot take this responsibility, I have already enough on my plate. Next phrase is elephant in the room. Elephant in the room means there is something about which everyone knows but nobody wants to talk about it as it might create some undesirable situation. So for example, Rohan was lying a lot about his expedition. Everyone knew about his lying habit. His habit of lying is an elephant in the room. Next in the list is lose it. Lose it means to go crazy. Supposing I say uh, she is talking illogically on and on. I think she has lost it. So this is the way of using this phrase. Next phrase is rest my case. When I am arguing with a person and the argument seems to be never ending and I have given all my statements, I have nothing more to say and I think I either win the argument or lose the argument, I have nothing else to say. So I say that uh, I don't want to argue anymore, I rest my case. Next phrase is having an upper hand. Having an upper hand means having an advantage. Supposing we are losing a case and uh, the opponents have some advantages due to some reason. So we can say that the case is weaker on our side, the opponents are having an upper hand. Next on the list is break the ice. Breaking the ice means turning an uncomfortable situation into a relaxed situation. That's called breaking the ice. For example, Rohan has lost the job and I went there and I thought this was the best time to break the ice. Last on the list but very important is reading between the lines. Reading between the lines means to look for or discover a meaning of something that is not explicitly stated, that is implied. For example, I am saying something to you in a straightforward way and you are trying to look for an implied meaning in it. So I can say to you that I am saying what I mean. It's of no use reading between my lines. So you see these are very important phrases that are frequently used in English writing and speaking. So when somebody says these phrases to you or you read these phrases somewhere, it will be easier to understand and easier to use them in your writing and your speaking when you know the meaning. So that's all for today. This video was all about phrases. You will be able to know more phrases of English as you read more, listen more. So keep reading, keep listening, keep making yourself better. Do take a very good care of yourself till I come with another video. Bye for today.